Up to now, the wagonways had used a variety of gauges, that's the distance between the rails. But now Chief Engineer Stevenson had to decide on a gauge for his new Stockton to Darlington railway line. There's an enduring story that he came here to the Roman fort at Housteds on Hadrian's Wall to measure the ancient wheel ruts in the East Gate. Now, I'm not suggesting for one minute that the Romans had trains. These ruts were made by the wheels of ancient carts, and lo and behold, they still measure to an average of four feet, eight and a half inches, and that eventually became standard gauge for all railways throughout the world. Whatever the truth of the story, it is a fact that in 1823, Pease joined with George Stevenson, son Robert, and Bedlington Ironworks owner Michael Longridge to form a company to build steam engines. They constructed workshops at 4th Street in Newcastle, the very first locomotive works in the world. They were founded on the 23rd of June, 1823. George's 19-year-old son, Robert, became the first working manager. This drawing is the only remaining record of what the works looked like. Today, there's little left beyond this window. But it was in this building that two of the most famous early locomotives in the world were built, Locomotion No. 1 and Rocket. And such was the success of those pioneering days that the works swiftly expanded into other buildings in 4th Street, 